Welcome to 3 Inquisitive Kids, and in this video, we will be going over our answers and solutions for Contest 4 of the 2022-2023 to Division E Math Olympiad Contest. For A, find the following sum of this addition problem. And here, we can kind of start to notice a pattern. 4321, 5432, 6543, and so on. And so, what are some ways we can used to solve this problem. Of course, there are so many different ways to do this. Here is one way. We have our fours. We add them together, we have four, 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 four. 4,444. Then we're gonna rearrange the fives. 5,555. Then the sixes, 6,666. And so we already wrote all of these down. Now we can just go ahead and do the sevens. Seven, seven, seven. But as you can see, there's only three sevens. So we can go on and add that one to the end. Then we can do the eights. There's only two eights, but there's also two twos. We can add that to the end. And we have one nine thousand and a three hundred thirty-three. Now all we have to do is add. So this would be fifteen plus a six. So that's 21 and then we have a 15 plus a 10 that's 25 plus 4 25 plus 4 equals 29 and then we have a 15 plus a 10 that's 25 plus another 10 35 then we're going to add our last column it's a 15 15 plus 10 equals 25. 25 plus 9 equals 34. 34 plus 8 equals 42. So our sum would be 42,591. Here is our second problem, 4B. Jimmy, Kimmy, and Timmy are each thinking of a prime number. The product of Jimmy's and Kimmy's primes is 34. Kimmy's and Timmy's primes multiply to 85. What is the sum of their three prime numbers? Here we have Jimmy, Kimmy, and Timmy. They are all thinking of a prime number. So Jimmy's and Kimmy's primes product is 34. So JK would be 34. K times T equals 85. What is the sum of their three prime numbers? So what is J plus K plus T? Here we have something times another number equals 34. The only two factors that's not one in itself of 34 is 2 and 17, which means that J and K equals 2 or 17. And we will know that K actually is the one that equals 17, because 17 times a number equals 85, and that number would be 5. And as you can see, 5 is a prime number, which means that k equals 17, t equals 5, and j would equal 2. As you can see, these numbers are all prime numbers. Now all you have to do is add them all together. 2 plus 17 plus 5 equals 24. And so the sum of their three numbers would be 24. 4C. What is one half of two thirds of three fourths of 2,400? Again, this might be very confusing and it might be a lot of information at first, even though this is only one sentence. And some of you might know that when you see the word of, in a problem, it's pointing to multiply. And so when you hear this question, you might just go like one half times two thirds times three fourths times 2,400. And yes, this is true. All you have to do now is cancel all the denominators and numerator numerators and then calculate to get 600. And that's a very quick way to get the answer to this problem. But again, this contest is for elementary school students. And in a lot of schools, they might have not teached the students how to do this type of math yet. So what is another way you can do this? Well, you can first think, 
what is three fourths of two thousand four hundred? Well, one fourth of this number would be six hundred, right? And three of that would be one thousand eight hundred. And then now you have to find two thirds of this. So two thirds of one thousand eight hundred would be I'm just gonna do multiplication quickly. One thousand two hundred. And then one half of this would be six hundred. And so that is how we get six hundred as our answer. 40. Part of a 10 by 10 grid is shown in the following diagram. If the pattern shown is continued for the remaining grid, n percent of the entire figure will be shaded. Find the value of the whole number n. Do not include the percent sign. As you can see, I've tried to recreate the, the diagram that was on the contest. This is part of a 10 by 10 grid. And it's asking us what percent of the entire figure will be shaded. What percent of figure will be shaded. Well, let's try to notice a pattern. Here, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. In the second column or second row, so this, there are three shaded. In the fourth column or fourth row, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven squares shaded. And here, in the sixth row in column, there is a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven squares shaded. So let's see if you can find any patterns. Here we have three, and then we jump to seven, and then we jump to eleven, which means that every single time, the number of shaded squares increase by four. And again, there are only shaded squares in the even number rows and columns. And so in the eighth row, in the eighth column, there would be a total of 15 squares shaded. In the 10th row or 10th column, there would be a total of 19 squares shaded. And when we add all these numbers together, it would be the total number of shaded squares. So it would be 10, 3 plus 7, plus 30, 11 plus 19 plus 15. That's the same as 40 plus 15, which is 55. And the total number of squares in this grid would be 100 because it's a 10 by 10 grid. So it would be 55 out of 100 squares that's shaded. But again, the answer is asking for you, what does n equal? n in this case would be 55. 4e, here's our final problem of this contest. Use the following three equations to determine the value of the last expression. What is the value of triangle plus triangle plus triangle plus square plus square? For some reason, the triangle appeared very small on my device, but of course that does not matter. So what can you notice from this pattern? Some kids might have learned about adding and subtracting equations, but you don't need to know that in order to solve this problem. Besides, this is a problem for elementary school students. If you look at these equations as a whole, you can see that there are four squares, four triangles, and four circles. And so if we were trying to find how much did one square plus one triangle plus one circle equal, all we have to do is first add them all together. It would be four squares, four triangles, plus four circles, which would equal their sums added together, which is 15 plus 14 equals 29, plus 19 equals 48. And then all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by four. So this would equal 12. 48 divided by 4 equals 12. Now let me erase these marks so it's easier to see. If we know that a square plus a triangle plus a circle equals 12, 
how much does this one circle equal? It looks like when you added this one circle on, you increase 12 to 15, which means that one circle is three. And here you can see we also have a 12 inside of 19. We have our square, a triangle, and a circle, which means that one triangle is actually 19 minus 12, which is seven. And one square would be 14 minus 12, which is two. Now all we have to do is find what is the value of this expression. Well, that would be three times the triangle. The triangle we already know equals seven plus two times the squares. One square is equal to two. 21 plus four equals 25. So the value of the last expression would equal 25. And that's it for our video this time. So please hit the like button and please subscribe. And also you will find the link to our website in the description below. And if you happen to come up with a more efficient strategy, be sure to share it in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and be sure to come back for more.